What if you could just stop users from accidentally deleting important data with just one simple pop-up? Let's see if I can build a delete confirmation pop-up in under one minute. This is my scenario. I have an app here that's connected to a list in SharePoint called Assets Manager. I created this list in a previous video where I created an app connected to SharePoint. In this app, I have a gallery that's connected to that list, and I have two buttons, one to remove and one to edit. Talking about the removal, right now I'm just calling the function remove, then I'm passing the list name, and I'm removing the current item from the gallery. What happens here is that if I click on remove, the item will just disappear, and there is no way to recover this item from the app because it's deleting right away. We know that the users are curious. They may click just to see what happens. So we want to avoid that and put a pop-up confirmation so the user makes sure the deletion is really necessary. Right now, let's see this working. I'm going to click on remove. It called the remove function and just removed from the gallery and from the SharePoint list. Now, that you understand the context, I'm ready to start the challenge. I'm going to put a one minute timer. And the goal here is that at the end of this one minute, we have the pop-up showing here. Once I click on remove, we will have a confirmation pop-up where the user can choose if the deletion is really going to happen or the user can regret and cancel the action. Let's get started. Let's go. I was almost there. I inserted the pop-up and I was putting the actions to the buttons. We can see that in the next couple of seconds, the pop-up is complete and it's deleting the record. It wasn't in one minute, but it was very quickly. Now let's see step by step how I did so you can do yourself. Okay, now back to the app. I already restored the items I've just deleted on SharePoint and deleted the pop-up. Now I want to insert the delete pop-up and instead of deleting from this button, I want to delete from the pop-up button. I don't want to create all the pop-up from scratch and I know that there is this tool called Power Apps Tools that let you get pre-made snippets. Here we have several snippets under the YAML snippets area. If I search by delete, we have a delete confirmation pop-up here. We can see more details about it. It was created by me. This is a pre-made control that I can just click on copy YAML and go back to my app and paste it here. So if I right click on the screen, for example, paste, I can then click on paste code. It just pasted the entire control here. We can see in the left, in the navigation tree, that's a container with another container inside and another container and a text and the buttons. Here I'm leveraging the modern controls. So I enabled the modern controls in my app because for example, these buttons are the modern buttons. This text is the modern text and so on. 
Now I have the pop-up here already on top of everything because I just pasted. And I can see that if I click in the cancel, I'm setting a local variable called lock display delete pop-up using the update context function to false. That means that once I click here, this variable will be set to false. And if I go to the external container and look at its visible property, I'm using that exact variable in there. So once the variable is false, it will disappear. If the variable is true, it will show. I'm going to copy this formula, click on cancel, so it closes the pop-up. In order to make the pop-up appear again, I need to set that variable to true. And this is what I'm going to do in the remove icon from the gallery. So instead of removing, let's comment this and put that formula, setting the variable to true. Now, if I play the app and click on the button, the variable will become true and the pop-up will appear. Now, what I have to do is that in this delete button, I put the formula to delete the records. Okay, going back to our button here, the remove button inside the gallery, we had the formula to remove the records. We were calling remove our data sets and then this item. But once we click and we show the pop-up, we are not going to have the this item property anymore because this is just inside the gallery. Instead, we need to put this also in a variable. So I can say, I can call it lock selected item and then call it this item. So in the moment I click on the button, I will have this variable called lock selected item that I can use later to remove this specific item. Let's now get the remove formula, clicking the delete button so I can open the pop-up again. And here in the delete, we have this formula here. It's even commented. If I uncomment and put the data source, that's in my case is called asset manager. I am already calling the remove asset manager with the lock selected item. So now if I click on the button, it will remove the item that I just selected pressing the delete button inside the gallery. It will already work. But let's not forget that once I click on delete, I also want to close the pop-up. So we need to set that variable, the same we have in the cancel button or in this close icon. We need to set the variable to false again. So I can copy this formula and in the delete formula, put a semicolon and put the second formula here. That's the update context that will set the variable to false. Okay, now if I click in the delete button, it will remove the item from the list and close the pop-up. Very simple. One last thing that we can do to still improve this is that if you want to add some icon to this button, since it's a modern button, we have the icon property and I can find the delete icon. Now we have this trash can in the button. Okay, let's test. So I'm going to close and start from scratch. I'm going to delete this one that doesn't have a name. So I'm going to click on remove. And then I'm sure I want to delete. I can click on the delete button and it will remove from the data source. Just clicked. I see that's processing. And now it's just removed from the gallery because it deleted from the data source. I want to know what you found about this format and if you could please suggest new videos like this, new themes or improvements so I can make it even better for the next videos and you can learn more. I'll leave you now with a suggested video. See you in there.